All right. So in this video, what we are going to talk about is what is a file? And in simple terms, a file is just a series or a stream, let's say, let's call it for now, a stream of bytes, one after the other, usually stored on some non-volatile memory devices, such as your hard drive, uh, SSD, some flash memory, and so on. And these memory devices, these memory components, will be used to write and read to and from, okay, uh, basically to work with files during this section and probably during your future projects uh, when you will develop amazing applications. And in this tutorial, we will talk only about these type of files uh, and not about different, let's say, complex types where files may be spread out to several areas uh, on the device and stuff like that. Okay, we'll simply talk about some stream of bytes which will represent the data of the file, okay? Just think of every file that we will speak uh, about from this point on as some sequence of bytes that actually hold or store the data and the content of a given file, some data that you want to represent, whether this will be like, I don't know, just a text file, an image file, or let's say other files that we will also explore. And in this section, maybe in this section, maybe I will give you just a part of it, I'm not sure because, um, yeah, there is a lot of things to cover up, but mainly, mainly what we do um, categorize when learning files is basically two main types. The first one is the textual files and the second type is the binary files. And we will talk about um, different usages of text files and binary files. I'm not sure about binary files in this section, I will need to check it out because it is a little bit more complicated. Maybe we'll start just with the textual files to simply give you some taste of how to work with files and basically binary. Maybe we'll add here, maybe we'll add in some um, next section. Not sure about it at this moment. But yeah, so far so good. And just to like to give you a little, a little bit of visualization, let me draw something here and let me tell you that basically a file will be represented, as we just said, as a sequential stream of bytes. So if we will take a look at this memory, okay, so that's some memory that we have. This is the memory, let's say, of your hard drive, okay, just as, as an example. And you will say that from this memory forward, let's say memory, I don't know, 3 to 200 up till, I don't know, 4000, this will be, okay, all the bytes in memory that will be occupied for your file, okay? So whatever you store here, okay, if you will decide to store here, I don't know, um, an image, so there will be different representation than just storing some textual basic file where each byte is going to represent some character. Okay, so, but the general concept that you need to understand is that, let's say we will have like everything represented for the file, index 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on and so forth, up until some n minus 1 index, uh, and we will use it as the end of file, okay, marker something that will represent that this area uh, ends with this marker right here and this is the file represented and storing all the data relevant uh, for your needs to this file, whether it's going to be on the hard drive, the SSD, I don't know, or some flash memory. And once you start working with files, okay, first of all, what you will usually do is that you will attempt to start working with a file, you will try to open a file, okay? And then what will happen is that a sequential stream associated with that file will provide some communication channel, okay? There will be some communication channel between this given stream, 
this file and your running program, which is like in this main.c, there will be a running program, there will be like a region in memory that will be used for your file. And then when it's, once you will try to open a file and it will hopefully be successful from your program to this file, there will be created some communication channel that will allow you to read or write based on your demands, okay? And to be honest, guys, the understanding of this concept of this communication channel, a file, a program is really crucial. There is no much usage in real life applications. Uh, I mean, there is so much usage in real life applications and developments with this communication channel between a stream of bytes and your running program that, to be honest, you cannot even start to imagine. Or maybe you can. So um, what I want us to do in the next video, I would like us to talk about um, some examples of streams that are being used automatically, okay, when uh, any new program is launched and some of them you've used, you've probably used so far in the previous sections and you didn't even notice that there was like different streams and streams for the input, streams for the output, okay? And in the next video, I will show you exactly what I mean by that. So stay tuned and let's go.